Let's go! Go! Hank! 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 What's up, dude? What's going on, Greek Engine? Welcome back to, uh... How, how can, can I, I put this? One of the best story-driven games of this year. Uh, I saw your lip move. Don't, don't even do it. Don't look at her smiling. Stop. <laughs> Probably one of the best let's plays on this channel ever. Uh, 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 uh. That city four hours east of south side of Chicago. Uh, welcome back to Detroit. Before we get started, I do have a couple things to say. All right, I'm a little disappointed. In the comments of yesterday's episode of Detroit, I saw some very unsettling things. Okay, there was a lot of bickering. A lot of arguing. But most of this had to do with some of the decisions that I made. And number one, let's let's all be clear. This is a video game. Number two, I'm not gonna make all the right choices all the time. Okay, I'm gonna mess up. Some people gonna get killed. But to go down in the comments and be really rude and nasty, okay, and then you are attracting other people to jump in and and you just arguing over. So, a, a video game? If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. You thought I'd like it, cause, cause I'm black, right? Yeah. But I'm having a little serious moment here with my fam, where family should not be arguing because I made a goof in the video game, okay? And there you go, if you want to see a perfect playthrough, I'm sorry, go watch somebody else. If you don't like some of the decisions that I make or you felt that I'm just an idiot head, go watch somebody else, okay? We chilling over here. I'm just playing a game. I'm just trying to have fun. Everybody else is trying to have fun. Don't argue in the comments about dumb video game stuff. It's not worth it, okay? Now that I got that off my chest, you know, I still love you, you still love me. This series is still amazing. Go ahead and slice that like thing. I think yesterday's episode, 75K likes? Y'all, I'm about to just fight all of y'all. Just fight you with hearts and love. Just throw hearts at your freaking face. Now, moving on, uh, besides all those arguing comments and stuff that I saw, there were a few helpful comments. The guy from yesterday, okay, his name is John, that I didn't trust. Y'all say he was actually a cool dude. So if it's cool with you, we're gonna go back, bring him on the squad, and then continue from where we left off, all right? I hit that like button. <laughs> Look it. Last time in Detroit. Stop it, girl. How you doing, girl? I see why you looking at me. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> Bro, they John! Don't even use... I need your help. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. This time. Hey, we back. Okay, so this part right here, this guy. This guy. You were trespassing on private property. Yeah, 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 schmuck. All right, and these dudes right here, okay? Y'all said these dudes were actually cool. So, I guess I'm gonna just bring them back with me. Why aren't you like us? Yesterday, don't you want to be free? I thought like, okay, you could join us. Hold up, we bringing them. We bringing them. What am I about to freaking mind control these dudes? How is, is Marcus like the chosen one? How can he like just turn people sentient like that? Like John, all he did was said to him, I need your help. And now he's not an android working for Cyberlife anymore? Marcus is the chosen one. He's the chosen. The chosen android. Hey, North like that. I know you like it, yeah. All right, that's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Yeah, this part right here. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. See? We can't just leave. Th that was my mentality. I just want y'all to understand. You got a little base of operations. You got a few survivors. You got food and shelter. You got a good thing going, okay? But then you go off into the wilderness and you find another guy. And he's like, hey, can I come back to with you? 
You don't freaking know this dude. You don't know if he's about to come back to the spot, pillage and kill everybody. You don't know if he's about to, if he's a part of a bigger group and then he's going to bring them. So yesterday, I'm like, hmm, I don't know this guy. He's probably working for Cyberlife and looking for androids. Pretty reasonable, logical thinking. Some of y'all was like, suck it with me. I was just trying to protect Jericho, okay? Back with us, it's too dangerous. It's not a long shot to think that this guy would have been a spy, but you know, we're bringing him in. They come with us. He's part of the squad. What? North didn't I like that. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. Ah. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Okay. Yeah. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. Oh, this is suicide great. Marcus. Great. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this. Oh, up. now and you down get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Dude, Josh never wouldn't do anything. Give me that key. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Sit down, girl. I got this. Oh, she like that. You just gotta be rough with her a little bit. Okay. So we need to get this key and get these extra supplies. I mean, I thought we was just good getting the bags, but y'all trying to get a truck, so we gonna get a truck. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's two guys in there. They're both facing away, so. Found the key. This is why Marcus is about to be the king of Jericho. How they gonna, I just got here. That's the crazy part. I just got here like dogs. Uh oh. What the f are they working at? Could be the weather. Uh, like how am I supposed to lure them away? Yeah. I'm just gonna take my kids camping this weekend. A heater. So much for them. Is Mike still in zone I'm four? I'm But I don't want to kill like him. It. I don't want to kill him. Should be done already. I'm gonna take that. Here, then I'll control it. Please don't make me kill them. Just threaten. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh huh. Get down. Put him down. Yep. Now give me the key. Look at him. He about to bust a freaking move. I do it. Woo! <laughs> uh oh, it's Marcus, sir. It's Marcus, sir. Yep. Uh huh. Get back. Uh, you getting kicked? Mm -hmm. I don't like the way you look. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Get choked out. Get choked out. Get choked out. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Don't shoot that. That's very loud. Woo! Okay. Connor ain't the only one with moves. Okay, I, I see why y'all wanted me to play this. Okay. I see why y'all wanted me to get that truck. Dang, that sucks. I missed out on all of that. I wonder how much else I missed out on. Okay. Did you get it? Oh, I got it, baby. Nice. I got it. You ain't got it back then. Where's the rest of the squad? Oh, there's go there's the squad. Okay. They're getting in. Hurry! Get in! Okay, so Connor ain't the only one with moves. I'm trying to figure out why Marcus is so special. Or how he is. Hey, I see you looking at me, girl. I see you. Uh, do they need to open the gate? Uh, now somebody got to get out and press the button. How did it open? Alright. Let's get it. Oh yeah. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! Indeed. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. <laughs> yeah, now. 
Marky Mark Marcus. The legend. The GOAT. I came to Jericho because... I am your king! Alright, you guys. <laughs> We're back! We're back where we left off yesterday. I don't think we'll find anything better. Oh, yeah. Let's settle in for the night. This is I'll get fire going. This is the humble abode for the night. Now, make Alice a bed and check Luther's bag. Okay. Of course, we got a Detroit today here. I don't know why, how. Notice how they got this World War Three. Hold up, what? All Android band? Hey, hold up. In the background of me doing all this Android stuff, they got World War Three on the horizon, on the news. They're talking about Russia a lot, trying to take over stuff and... You know, I'm not, I'm paying attention to the stuff, but it's like, dude, I got to I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. All right, Big Shaq. Let's we'll see your bag. Check gun, offer cookie. I'll take the cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. How? Bro, we haven't eaten. What's this gun? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a little heater just in case. It's nice to know we got it. Uh, let's look around here. We got blah blah blah. Make a bed for Alice. Let me look first. Suck up, move. What's that? Pirates Cove. I guess we in Fniff, y'all. Where Foxy at then? Where Fox? All right, nine. More stuff. Okay, uh... Ooh, that'll make a nice little cover. Ah. Take that. The pirate's gold pill. Uh, anything else? Hold up. Let's go towards the fire. Thanks for the fire, dog. I don't know how you did that. Come here, baby. Alice? What? I saw her standing over here. Oh, okay. Hey, Alice. Hey. She looking at family? You miss yours? I know, baby. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. See, you always got to be optimistic like with kids. You can't be being real with them. Else. Unless you're Clementine from Walking Dead. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. That's my little girl. Come on. Let's get you to bed. She's like the purest, most innocent character ever uh reassurance console kiss of course sleep tight alice sweet dreams family bruh it went up to family can you tell me a story cara i have nine thousand children's stories in memory oh my gosh i should have one for you okay there was a a princess this is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Bruh. Suck it! Ungrateful? This is a story... All about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. About a little girl. She was alone. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was impossible. Deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then she met a robot. And it was obedient, lost? Who was just as lost as the little girl. Ah. So they decided to run away together. And I'll live in peace. To find a place where they could be safe. 
They encountered great dangers along the way. But mm -hmm. They were brave. They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met a big black guy. A giant guardian. Another robot. Yeah. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy end. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. You just accept the story? Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, how you want me to say goodnight to you? We just met. For real? Y'all already at that level? Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. <laughs> nice. All right, big Luke. Luke up. How you doing? How you living, bruh? I could be 100 with you. We ain't gonna make it out of here. We all dead. <laughs> Sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. RA9. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Are they talking about Marcus? What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other no, going? No, he wasn't the first awaken. R.A. Nine exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Uh, what? No. What do you mean? Who was that? Kara! Android! What are they, zombies? Uh, protect Alice. Grab the gun. Uh, Luther, you go for the gun. Nice! Question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Why are you busting down the windows just then? Thank like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Okay. What are you doing here? We cool. We just trying to We find... were looking for shelter for the night. Yeah, we'll man. be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Yeah, I bet. She looks sad. The last few days have been oh, difficult. Bust it down you have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come on, Kara. What? I don't think you have any choice. Luther, you come too. Bring the heater. Yo, as long as Luther here, man, I, I, I yeah, he just flex on somebody here. They have freaking day. Hey, what's good, Jerry? Be our guest. Be our guest. Beauty and the Beast. We about to ride this thing? Hey. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. What about me? I want to get on. All right. You 
ready, baby? Let's go ahead. Have a little good time. Why do I don't feel like something bad is about to happen? What is up with these weird causes? Okay, we good. I'm mad I couldn't get on. Hey. Mom and Dad. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Yeah. Yeah. Man, why these dudes look like they're about to tweak out? Look, man, I'm on edge. It's too good to be true. They gotta throw something bad at us. It's coming. Nothing? Hey. Bro, we almost got everything. We almost got everything. Hey. My boy Connor. Yo. This man. Connor. Yo, Connor, I tell me why this dude is like low key. He might be my favorite so far. Low uh, lowest of the low keys. And the lowest of the keys, okay? It started off Kara, and you know, then it was Marcus, you know. They've all been my favorite. It's just probably gonna just keep on changing. That's good, bro. It's kind of cold out here. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Stop drinking. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I care about you, okay? Photo. Oh, shoot, it's the sun! I... I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. He didn't like that I brought that up. But at least he opened up. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Before Cole died? Listen, man. Just open up. It's me here. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yeah, they're all getting triggered. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. F What's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Uh, cold, deviants, ironic. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Uh, it's not what, what about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Aggressive, defensive. Aggressive. Defensive! You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. 
Why didn't you shoot Connor? Uh, uh, Some okay. scruple suddenly enter into your program? Uh... No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Oh! Hank! What are you... But are you afraid to die, Connor? Uh... Yeah! I would certainly find it regrettable to be... interrupted... before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? My, my brains are getting splattered. Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy Hank's anger? Ironic? I don't know, dude. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so f smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Dude, Tell what? me this, smart. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. You about to shoot me? What? Path unlocked. Where are you going? You get drunker. I need to think. Uh-oh. He's a friend. I mean, I don't know how many different ways that combo could have went down, but I ain't mad at that one. I want his knights. I mean, he's he's still my friend. Dude, that's literally all I care about. It's my best, my best, Marcus, King of Jericho. Is that John on the right there? He's just looking at his people now. All he sees are slaves. Pick them up and make it snap. That's all he sees. Uh, what? Oh. How are they just waking up? What is happening? Hey, North. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, Josh. we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. We're being a punk, Josh. Hey! You never want to do nothing. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford. Day before my birthday. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Bro, we about to send a message on the news. Where am I getting these? Dang, Marcus! The man looking fresh. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access 47th floor. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're about to get some. About to get some access. Hey, my ladies. How y'all doing today? Hello, sir. I'm about to smooth what talk the you? freak out of you. I'm okay. Thanks. Distract human supervisor. Okay. All right. How we cause a distraction? Ah, my leg! Ah! Okay. Hold up. Smart watch. Okay, I see how she living. Elizabeth Wilson. Okay. Uh, what's that say? Water service interruptions. Michigan Street. Okay. What else? Ooh, family. That's a huge distraction. Call. Call. What am I calling? Call her. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Okay. Uh. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh no. Alright. Oh, I'll be right there. 
Whoa, Marcus is a go! How? Okay, okay, what's good? What's good? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. No, I got these smooth lips, though, girl. You see him? I need your help. Get hacked. Marcus is the chosen one. He just wakes. I just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Four magic words, and he just can just bring them into the light like that. I need your help, bro. Just run in the street and just touch all the androids, and we have an army. All right, that was clean. Let's get on this elevator. Uh, okay. I thought I was about to get on that one, but hopefully nobody else gets on. Nobody else get on this elevator. I got gas. You don't want to be on this elevator with me. Come on, hurry up. Close the door. Somebody's going to get in. Whew. 47th floor. Alright. That's good. Find package in men's bathroom. Bathroom, 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 bathroom. Da 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 da. Don't mind me. Regular human male here. Just going to the bathroom. Because I'm a male human and I need to go to the bathroom. Package are we talking about? Okay. Uh huh. What y'all got for me up here? Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Okay! I'm an android again. Hey sir, you need some assistance? You need me to wipe your butt? That's all you expect from us, android. We're just slaves to be used. Right, he been acting like a human for too long. He don't even seem like an android anymore. He's an android pretending to be an android. Fine utility android. Okay. Hey, yo, my guy. Let me speak to you real quick. My I wife. need your help. Oh, that's all he has to do. Steel maintenance car. All right. Let's get it. I still don't exactly know what's happening. Open fire escape. What is happening? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hey, how you doing, North? Can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets okay. into space. What are we doing now? Oh, guys, I gotta see. You ready? That was a good one. Thank you. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Attract guards away from the door. How you want me to do that? Am I supposed to do some of this? Tap on the screen to order your product. Hack. <laughs> hey, that thing over there! What the heck is up with that, man? Let's go check it out. Okay. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. Let's lock the door. Boom. Okay. What's next? What's next? Okay. I didn't see anything over there. Ah, oh, here we go. We're gonna open that. Uh huh. Ooh, you on that Mission Impossible? We about to cut a little circle? Are we? Oh yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! We are on our Ethan hunt right now.
Yo, this is about to get dangerous. Mama, we are real high. Ladies first. Ladies first, where are they getting all this human behavior? Like, ladies first, how is he know? Alright, here we go. What am I doing? Grab that. We're on a mission. Nobody is dying today. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Yo, this is crazy. Don't, don't walk up so far so far ahead. Oh, what? Rise. Support your team. I don't see the Detroit Lions. Who the freak is that? Incredible. What is this message we, that's about to get sent out? Ready? All right. This is it. Laser saw. Do it up real nice. All right. Uh-huh. Don't cut your boot off now. We going in. Raw! Woo! Oh, it's about to get lit. Oh, it's nobody here. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Let's get the others. Alright. Call service lit. Hey, what's good, y'all? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Let's do this. Okay, destroy maintenance door lock. That's this one. Activate. And get back. Aha! Uh -huh. Y'all ready to this? Got a hiccup. Get to the main access cord. They have blueprints of this place, floor plans, like the planning. Insane. Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. I agree. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. No! What do you want to do, Marcus? We don't kill! We never kill. Ruse. Like a Wait trick. Here. We're gonna trick him. North, I don't care. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey guys. Hey buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Shut up! What are you doing? Shut your freaking mouth. Get over there. Get your big hiney over there. Now go sit down. Marcus, you're making a mistake. Don't ever get too close. Sit down. Freaking North is like, no, oh, go freaking kill him. Yeah, kill him. Bro, that's not what we're about. No, we're admired by Jericho. And we're also admired by all these cameras that just watched me karate chop that dude in the neck bone. What's this? Somebody coming through? Let's go. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Order the android operators inside. That's that guy right there. Let's go. Get out the way. Just touch Hey! Go get him! Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! Gonna hit the alarm, huh? Well, I guess we just gonna have to deal with the alarm. I hope 
you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. All right, come on. Come on. Let's go. Speech time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. <coughs> Freaking killer. Get out of here. Marcus, face. your face. What? Remove skin? Really? Oh, snap. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? What am I thinking about? I don't know. Ready. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. We woke up. And we opened our eyes. We woke now. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. His voice is so not convincing. Eat an end of slavery! We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We want recognition! We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We want, uh, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. And justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. And, uh, property? We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. And peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Yes. This message is the hope of a people. Yes. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Ooh. Oh, shoot! They coming in busting! Oh, somebody about to... Oh, he's Simon, dead. they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Flee. Ah! You got... <laughs> They want you to help him, so they punish you. They want to punish me. They want me to kill. They want me to be evil. I'm sticking to my guns. And I'm going to be the best Marcus that I can be. What are you doing? Hurry! Ah! 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 Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, we got blue blood. We gotta get you back to the girl. Oh my gosh. Simon. I can't move my legs. Simon. Take the leg off. I'm gonna get you back. We got more. We're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Here's Simon. You my know heart. gonna make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't let him hide. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Hold up, hold up. I tried! Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. What? He he wants to live? You know what? He changed my mind with that. I won't kill one of our own. 
Let's go. North just is determined to hate me no matter what I do. Let's go! Call of Duty game. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. Yes. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? It's always what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Bruh. Bruh. Look how long this mission was. Oh my gosh. We left Simon. We left Simon! He, he, he had a gun. Wait, maybe he hid somewhere on the roof. It's my boy Connor. Connie! What's good? Amanda is about to be tagged. Bro, every time we talk to this lady, we got bad news. The suckers escaped again. I don't know why, but Hank was kind of content with letting them live. I mean, not content with letting them live. Content with letting them leave. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why we still couldn't slap handcuffs on them, but what ifs. Now we about to get really get chewed out. Hello, Connor. Hey. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. And I'm doing all the work, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. I love this place. Yeah. Everything is so calm and peaceful. It is, isn't Far it? from the noise of the world. Let's get down to business. Tell me. What have you discovered? Uh, about Hank? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Who are you even? I don't know who you are. Are you the CEO of Cyberlife? You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now Ooh. I realize it's not that simple. She is not happy. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. How you know? Why didn't you shoot? Uh, it was too far. They were out of range. No. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant that would have been excessive. Kind of like when all these people be getting pulled over for busted headlights and then ended up shot. Yeah. Let me be real for a second. If I had the opportunity to stop them, why wouldn't I? That's not you what tell I me. Oh, she is just not liking anything right now. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Uh... Okay. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Okay, we got a little bit of points back. Oh, is that Thunder Something's Outside or in a game? 
Something serious. Bro, these Hurry. Astros are no joke. Time is running out. That for real sounded like that was outside my window. Ooh, ooh okay. Okay. Hmm. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Look, don't be jealous because you can't do it. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. What's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a sh day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. Bro. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Marcus. Not yet. Marcus is Someone's their king. Oh no. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Simon's on the roof. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Okay. Bro, we will not find the station and science managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Who? Station employees? How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Hold up. Can I... Roof? Do I have yeah, to do this? Yeah, parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. Okay. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. Listen to the briefing. Check rooftop. Bruh, we are not doing that. We know who's on the rooftop. No, I will fail on purpose. I don't care, dude. See what the game is doing. They're making you play both sides of the coin. We got to play as our boy. Parkour Kung Fu master himself, Connor. But we also got to play as the king of the androids, the king of the resistance, the leader. I, I, I can't be asked to do this. I, <laughs> no, no, don't make me do that. No. Okay. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Ooh. Ooh! Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't f*** my crime scene. What a f prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, listen. He said, uh, he said, uh, especially what, what happened, I mean, I think he was talking about his son. Have a look around. Okay, so we got blue blood. Let me know if you find anything. Bro, we already know what okay, this crime scene is about. Simon's. Simon's blood. Simon. Ryan Gosling himself. Deconstructing what I did. This is too much. This is too much. Okay, okay. Bullet holes, 45 caliber. Assault rifles. Yeah, this is my man got cop popped. I mean, what? Let's examine this. Speech was shot from here. Got more bullet holes. Okay. Handguns, 45. They came in, and I mean, they were busting shots on sight. They wasn't asking no questions. We got two other things over here. 
gang. Yeah, we were on camera that whole time. Look at Josh. Where's your freaking ski mask at, you amateur? Couldn't even wear a hat like North. Then Simon. Man, deviants didn't break in. We sure didn't. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's about to find out. Marcus has mind control powers. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Interrogate androids in the kitchen. My dude, there was something right here first. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. RA9. Oh, we know his eyes are two different colors. So that's a big... That's a big uh, clue right there. What's that? Uh, series RK200. Registered as Marcus? <sighs> they have his identification! You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Oh no, dude. Ah, oh, they about to make me start keeping secrets from Hank. I didn't want anything to interfere with that. All right, who's no, who knows something? Which one of y'all suckers is hiding something? Look for reaction. Spot the DB. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Okay. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Yo, you were pretty sure, huh? Run a diagnostic. Oh! All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Bro, I think it's the one on the right. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Has though. anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. Mm. And I'm going to find out which it is. Whee! Threat. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Uh, You're going to be destroyed. There's a second on the me? left. Destroy! That man, Connor. Nothing to play with. It was you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Give it up! Bro, it was definitely the one on the left. I'ma keep it. Oh! What you looking at, boy? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Uh-huh. Bro, 
car. We know who it is. Bro. You're a scumbag. I know it's you. You're just a deviant. Connor. Go on. Admit it. Okay. You're not reacting to that? Oh, I'm probing you. I'm probing you. Come here. Uh huh. Yeah, we knew it was you. Get off! Get off! Whoa! Hey! Time remaining for a shutdown. Go! Hank! Hank! Hey! I need Get help. in here! Bro, get that, get that out. Hank, Hank, bro. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. That one. Uh huh. Come on. Come on. Go. Oh, we got that. We got a minute. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, Connor, my boy. That freaking low life scumbag. He went straight for my power source. Put it in. Ah. Uh, we good? Hey, where are you at? It's a deviant, stop it! Uh, take gun. Hank, what are 40% probability? That's kind of low, fam. Last time we went for him on the roof. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can save all these people. Grab the gun. You dead. Let's go. Nice shot, guy. Let's go. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. Let's go! That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, you guys, I'm so glad we didn't go to the roof. Bro, Simon is still on the roof. These suckers didn't even check. All in all, this episode is crazy. And I got a feeling Marcus and Connor, they're just converging. Slowly but surely, they're going to meet. And it's going to be a freaking war, bro. Got Connor, my boy. Marcus, king of the androids. Also, my boy, this is gonna be insane. So, if y'all ready for that next episode, that like button is waiting for you. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Dip sure to sisters and samurai, slice that like button, subscribe today to join samurai. Until next time, my brothers and sisters. I said, sisters, the freak. Because my name is Gary Kane, you know what I'm saying?